Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the 1,000 Fabulous Sandwiches of 1965, we're going to be making the Hot Salad Cheese Witch. Uh, first thing we got to do, lightly toast some bread. Now to grated cheddar cheese, we add sour cream, diced cucumber, a bit of pepper, and some chili powder. We get that all mixed together. Now onto our toast, we put a thick slice of tomato, two slices of pickles, and our cheese mixture. Oh, but we're not done yet. And we top that with a little paprika. Then we put that under the broiler until the cheese is melty and a little bit brown. Okay, let's give this hot salad cheese witch a go. It's really actually not bad flavor-wise. Um, you got the, the freshness of the tomato, the tartness of the pickle, and the sour cream, and a nice kind of melty cheddar cheese is actually not bad. Um, it's funny, I get asked all the time, when do you think of plus-ups? And normally it's when I read the ingredients in a sandwich. This one had me flummoxed. I had to uh, taste it first. Um, but I do think I want to plus this up. I'm going to add a little cumin. Can I boost the chili powder a little bit more? Okay, let's give this hot salad cheese, which plussed up with a little cumin, a go. Okay, to me that works. Helps to amplify the um, chili powder that's already in there. Goes well with the sour cream, goes well with the tomatoes, goes well with the pickles and the uh, cheddar cheese. And of course, the cucumbers that are in there are just providing a little bit of crunch. They're not bringing any flavor to the party with all this other flavor going on, but yeah, this is tasty. All right, so the original hot salad cheese, which I'm telling you right now, when I saw that name, I'm like, this is going to be a catastrophe. Hot salad sounds terrible. I was wrong. It was not a catastrophe. It was an open face sandwich, um, and the flavors were okay. They've got the sour cream, tang of the sour cream, the tang and tartness of the pickles, the sweetness of a really thick slice of tomato, um, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of chili powder, and cucumber to bring a little crunch, and then you just get it all nice and melty and oozy. It was actually pretty okay tasting. I'm going to give that a six. Plus up with the cumin uh, powder, I'll probably give it about a six and a half. It's not a huge change, but it is better. Uh, and I will finish this, which is not something I thought I would say when I first saw this recipe. <laughs> would I make it again? Probably not, but I'll definitely finish it. All right, see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>